Severe MMA here at Cage Warrior 76 Newport. I'm we're alongside Jack Shore. And man, it's fun watching you fight because you just love like you. It's it's like winning is a habit you can't get out of. Yeah. Is that how it feels in there? Yeah, I mean, I suppose I don't take no fight for granted, no opponent, but obviously I enjoy winning like everyone else. And uh, like you say, I'm making a bit of an habit of it. But, you know, obviously that's the plan. I don't ever go in there to lose or every fight I take. You know, tough fight, but I always got the intention of winning no matter who. You know, you had the, the, the French, uh, French kid, David Kroll, and you know, the thing about the French, uh, as, as we've seen over the last couple of years, is y you just don't really know what you're going to get until you step in there. Yeah. Their stand-up can be off the charts. Were you, was there, did you have to do any research, or were you yeah, just concentrated well, on you? He was a, a sort of a bit of a late replacement. It was like a, a two-week two weeks notice, and um, we had a little look on YouTube, but also with with France, I know he's, I'm not sure if it's still illegal, I know it was illegal, so he's out to find out his amateur record. We've we seen he had two pro wins, but obviously, I'm 2 and old pro, but if you don't look into that, I've had 12 amateur fights, yeah. and that's a lot of experience, so the same, we, we, you know, we didn't underestimate him, we, we done a bit of research, but we, we knew he was going to be a no walkover, but obviously, fighting on K George is the best show in Europe. You're not going to fight the war or every fight you have. It's and gonna be a dangerous and fight. fighting at home, that's got to feel yeah. good too. Yeah, it's always great to have the support. <laughs> my friends and my family, you know, they really get behind me. And as soon as I got tickets for a fight, they, you know, they're at me. Let's buy a ticket, let's buy a ticket. And uh, as you hear, then they, they're always loud no matter where they go. So it's, but it, is, it does make a difference fighting at home. You know, you, you competed, you, you were one of uh, a new breed coming through. Guys like you, Franz Malambo, guys who have competed at that amateur, yeah. uh, you know, at the IMMF, the Worlds, the Nationals, the what have the Europeans, and then if Tran, you know, made the jump. Uh, is that, was that the best thing that could have happened, was putting a little bit more spotlight on yeah, the amateurs? Yeah, yeah, No doubt, not so much for, for the spotlight, but obviously it does get a name out there, but it's also, Sometimes, especially in this country, when I was like five, six, you know, it can be tough to promote as a match up. You enter those IMMF, the Worlds or the Euros, there's 30 boys in the category, you got no say, you know, you're going to fight, you, you fight whoever they put you up against. And especially during the Euros, every fight that I was against a good, tough, experienced boy. So winning, I, I, I knew in my head I was ready for pro because, you know, you're fighting the best boys out there in amateur. You know, you can, some people, you, you can kid yourself and, you know, you think, oh, I'm fighting an unbeaten guy, but then he's 3 0, or you've been fighting a year. Yeah. You go there, you're fighting the best boys in Europe, the best boys in the world. So then, you know, you're doing well at them tournaments. They're not, obviously, yes, it's a good idea on why you should go pro or not. But yeah, it was a good thing to happen, definitely, because I knew after winning that, I was ready to go pro. And also, like you said, great, great exposure. Gets your name out there, gets people talking. No fighter ever gives me what I want when I ask this question, ever. I'm going to ask it anyway. What do you want next? Uh, obviously, you're not at a point where in a career where you want to be calling people. Yeah. That comes yeah. as disrespectful. But I'm guessing you want to climb that ladder. Yeah, like I'm 2 and 0 pro. It's, you know, there's guys out there that are much more experienced than me. But I've just had my second pro fight on the main card of Cage Oil. So it puts me in a good spot. I'm not calling no one out. I'm, no, I'm no illusion. That, no, I'm not going to be going. Oh, I want to get in UFC. Sign me for UFC. Sign me for these shows. But you don't want Conor McGregor just yet. <laughs> no, then. but <laughs> not yet. Yeah, <laughs> but it puts me in the right spot. Is you know, is a good another bit of exposure for my name. But I just want to keep, like you said, climbing the ladder. I want to be fighting better and better boys every time. You know, I don't want to be getting too far ahead of myself. But like I said, I don't want to be taking no steps back. I want to be continuously progressing with whoever I'm fighting. So whether it be on Cage Warriors or. Anyway, else, I just won the good fights, won the fights, it's going to get my name up. How, how many more this year in a perfect world? I'd say two this year. Two more this year? Two, though, yeah. Two. I'm going on all these now in a couple of weeks, and after that, I'm ready to go till the end of the year. Wow, yeah, you, you enjoy it, you deserve it. That was a phenomenal performance. And again, again three minutes and 47 seconds of, I, I, I hate to disrespect your opponent, but that you owned them. You absolutely thank owned you. them. Thanks very much. We look forward to seeing you fight again. Thanks. Sure, thank you Can so I just, much. Uh, yeah, quickly please. thank my team, uh, Tillery Combat. My coach and father, Richard Shaw, my teammates, uh, Jack Marshman, Chris Edwards, Jack Tucker, Sean, there's two mates to mention. And uh, also my sponsor, got uh, Tatami Fightway, uh, especially Richie Morgan at Top Spec Motors, who looks after me in more ways than one with work and everything else. Um, b, b Garage, Jack Evans, I got the crown in. Um, Dragon clad in roofing, um, and NCC cars, and gain nutrition. And uh, yeah, thanks very much. It's a pleasure, a great performance. <laughs> oh, and also, yeah, if I'm, I've just signed with Intensity Fight Management, so thanks to them for putting me on the card. In fact, to Ian Dean and Graham for giving me the shot at the main card in, in, in what's pretty much close to my hometown. So, uh, you know, the performance deserved it. Thank you.